you guys are like limiting the government, you know, to like the max. The maximum where, uh, where the, there's like still regulations, but it's not as regulated. And you could say that the market can provide regulations. Definitely, definitely. So right. for more free markets. More free markets. Definitely. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think like I don't, there's nothing government can do that the market can do in t like hundred times so much better in providing right. And, like you find so many examples all the time when like the way like we look at government. Government are monopolies on the goods and services you and I want, right? Yeah. Uh, like, I want the post office to have a monopoly. I want alcohol. ABC is a monopoly, right? But we don't have the economic freedom to cancel and subscribe as we can from a real business service or compete entrepreneurially. Like, Dominion Powers is a state-granted monopoly. We can't compete entrepreneurially in order to say, I can provide a better service that's not going to be abusive or harmful to you, the consumer, right? Yeah. Uh, so, your interest of capitalism, where does that come from? Like, how do I feel about capitalism? Yeah. Uh, I I love capitalism. I mean, um, it's worked for us. I definitely don't think we need socialism in right. here. Right, thank you. Oh, my no God, socialism that's so great to hear. <laughs> um, I'm not for the complete destruction of the government. Like, no, like, government at all. I want there to be a government, okay, you know, okay. just to make sure, like, people are doing what they're supposed what to do. What areas of government would you say uh, you don't think capitalism can solve that? Can you come a little closer? Uh, oh, I'm so awkward. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> So what, what areas of thoughts have you thought, like maybe security is something maybe you thought of or? Well, like, I mean, I feel like we do need more security, like, I guess, homeland security more, national security. Have you ever heard of um, the Pinkertons? I have not. No? Okay, so over 100 years ago, there was a business that had more armed, armed security personnel. They go after bank robbers. They go after, like, bad guys. Um, the United States government would employ them. A lot of people employ them. Uh, and they had more armed security personnel than the United States military combined. But, really? Yeah. So here's a, here was once a capitalist business that they never conquered any cities, any counties. Uh, they didn't go about uh, you know, conquering all of the United States. Eventually the government got jealous of them, uh, made laws to stop them from being capitalists, and so they could create their own agency, the FBI. So that's where the roots of the FBI comes from. I didn't know that. That's yeah. interesting. <laughs> so this, I would say, like, a lot of the stuff that we learned here, because I was going to VCU too, I just graduated, mm -hmm. uh, that they teach are some stuff that, that they've forgotten about or maybe misinformation or things like in the past that um, that they don't really teach anymore, allow us to know, like, like how did the market provide solutions to security or healthcare or welfare, all that stuff. And you'll find time and time again the government intruding into those sectors, stomping down with their boot, and then saying, now we're going to try to take care of this ourselves, and now, now we have a lot of the problems we have today, right? Yeah, I get that. Uh, do you have any uh, interesting uh, economics uh, professors or books that uh, you've, you've read or have an interest in? I read Freakonomics. Freakonomics, okay, all right, yeah, there we go. I read that. <laughs> Um, my math teacher actually told me to read it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, what are you studying here at BCU? I'm a political science major. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're in for a fun ride then. <laughs> Definitely. So, I mean, it's interesting. You don't hear, like, it's not very opinion-based. Well, I guess not opinion. They really have, like, a lot of more the left side views. Right. So it's really hard, like, when you have different views to, like, talk to people. Right. Yeah, I would say, uh, I mean, it's, it is a public school, you could say that. Uh, yeah. But at the same time. Yeah, it's very socialist leaning, you can say. I don't Definitely. think they could provide like a good balanced viewpoints of a lot of these things. Um, and so like, you know, if people want a good example of socialism, go to Venezuela. That's what I say right. all the time. I'm actually in like a group Come a that's closer. like, yeah. oh, no, you're good, you're good. yeah. I'm in like a group that's like, you know, no socialism whatsoever. What? What? Here at VCU? Yeah. No way. What's, yeah. the, what's the name of this um, group? Turning Point USA. Oh, I love that group. Yes, okay, yes. I am with them. Nice, nice. Oh, that's fantastic. That's good to hear. Yes. I love that group. We're with Students for Liberty. Um, uh, and so, really? Yeah, Students for Liberty. So we have Turning Point people that go there to the conference events as well. So I'm very familiar with the Turning Point. Um, we're also with Liberate RVA. So it's like Richmond's like uh, pro capitalist group here since like 2012. Uh, so yeah, so we've been campaigning very much for like capitalism and anti-socialism. <laughs> Somebody has to, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can say like socialism wins by default and nobody steps up to bat, you know, against a lot of their like uh, filled economic uh, arguments, right? Uh, but yeah, I always say the same thing. It's like there's no successful socialist country. Definitely. And inevitably they always kind of turn into communism and so like, no, no. And then like if you want like more tax, like everybody wants something free, but it's like it's not actually free. Like your parents are struggling now even right. more to pay. That's so. one thing they know, like, it's free, but where do you think it comes from, right? Exactly. Who do you think it's working hard? Who, whose money do you think they're taking it from, right? Exactly. It's not like it comes out of thin air or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, oh, <laughs> go to the money tree. <laughs> free college. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, what, 
Thank you so much for coming out. Yeah. That is so great to see someone who's pro capitalist as well. Oh my God, especially here. No, that's, that's amazing. That's Everybody good. Everybody here is that's like, rare. fuck capitalism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a genocide. Oh no, oh my God. Yeah, want to see genocide, go to, go to Charles Maoism, China, where like uh, they starved over like 20 million people, right? Yeah. Parents had to eat their own children just to try to survive, right? That's, that's horrible. Uh, hold them more famine out in uh, Ukraine by the USSR. Killed like seven to 10 million oh, people, right? Definitely. Yeah, it's, it's horrible stuff out there. Um, and my grandfather escaped from communist Cuba. Really? Yeah, so he's had a lot of stories about like how horrible communism uh, and the extreme form of socialism where it goes to, how it just doesn't work out for everyone, right? Definitely. Um, I'm Cal, by the way. I'm Elena. Nice Elena, to meet you. Elena, pleasure. Well, let me give you some cool books. Uh, okay. Signature newsletter. Yeah? Yeah. All right, thank you.